What's going on, everybody? Revolution of Cowboy here, back with another video. And this one will be about more figures that Mattel and WWE showed off at San Diego Comic Con yesterday. And man, let me tell you, so many more awesome figures that make me say, man, I wish these figures would come out right now. <laughs> Especially some that were shown at the end, including one that, man, probably made me go, oh my god, I can't believe finally with WWE. <laughs> and yeah. I was so happy to see the figure, and I can't wait for it to come out, so... And, and there's so many awesome figures that I want. A few that maybe I don't care for as much, but man, they took so many that were so awesome, and I can't wait for them to be a release. Include a few prototypes that are, you know, just not painted yet, but still look pretty cool. But so many more new Elite Basics, that'll even turn into the fine moments. So, um, let's get into the review of all these figures, and... Throw all the awesomeness that is the WWE Mattel line. First, let's look at the new basics that were shown. Um, it's got the Series 45, which features uh, Daniel Bryan, Triple H, The Miz, Chris Jericho, Ricky the Dragon Seaboat, and Mankind. And I'm not sure if this maybe will be a uh, theme set, like a heritage set, maybe, since you got two legends like Steamboat and Mankind. But I guess it's cool to see Mankind basic form and see another basic Steamboat. And the Steamboat looks like he's based off his uh, WrestleMania 3 attire. So maybe that leads me to believe this might be a WrestleMania set, but I'm not sure. The Miz looks alright, but I'd probably skip him. I don't care too much for the Triple H figure, because we've got that same short hair Triple H over and over. The Chris Jericho's alright, I guess the Red Shrugs. I don't know if I picked it up or not. I mean, I'm a Jericho fan, but I don't know. Daniel Bryan looks okay, and does the same as his base 41 leaf when it comes to the head scan. But other than that, I think I like Mankind's Steamboat figures the best in this line. Now we're going to look at some elites. This is Series 32, that features Daniel Bryan, Sin Cara, Mark Henry, Big E, Cody Rhodes, and Rey Mysterio. Now the Daniel Bryan looks pretty cool. He's got that, you know, the coveralls look that he wore briefly when he was with the Wyatt family. And they are fabric, and he can remove them, so that's pretty cool. So he'll have his normal wrestling attire under him. Then there's Sin Cara, who's got this red and green look for Mexico. And he comes with the same removal, you know, trench coat vest. So really nothing different. All the big difference will be in the Unico Sin Cara, because he'll have the tattoo. Now the Mark Henry, because of a breakaway table, and he will have the bald head, so no need to, you know, take off the base if you want to put on your elite. You will get an elite bald Mark Henry. Big E's just wearing a white singlet. It comes with the new, with the uh, current Intercontinental title. Cody Rhodes wears a vest and have a white, you know, Cody Rhodes gold dust shirt, so I don't know why they decided to keep that one with the gold dust when they're going to with Cody Rhodes anyway. At least I think that's why I seen the picture, so I don't know. And finally, the flashback for stereo, you know, is from his WCW days, wearing black and white with a little bit of pink in it. And he comes with the Cruiserweight Championship. Now, the note here is the WWE Cruiserweight Championship, not the WCW version. Which is alright. I mean, what would have been cool if he had the WCW version on, but still, I guess it's cool we got a Cruiserweight Championship now. You could put on him or any other wrestlers you might have that cruise wings. And now this Elite we all thought we were going to see it in Series 31 but apparently it was pushed back but we'll still get it at some point maybe in a future Elite line or maybe as an exclusive. This is the debut attire of Rocky Maivia going for the Rock. And last year we saw it as a prototype at San Diego Comic Con so it's cool to see the finished product this year with that crazy curly hair style he had, his tribal gear, and then the blue trunks with blue elbow pads, wristbands, blue knee pads. So before there was a blue T-stud, there was a, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, the rock, blue rock. <laughs> no, but otherwise, uh, yeah, this is a pretty nice figure, and you know it'll be a while before we get it. I also 
cannot wait for it, and I'll make sure to have it in my collection because I can select any, any and all figures of the rock. Now let's look at the pictures they showed at the panel at San Diego Comic Con. And they're just showing off some more basics. El Torito's already out, so I'm not going to talk much about him. I mentioned Eva Marie in my last video. And then I already just talked about uh, Ricky Drake, Steve and Mancon earlier. But we're also going to get a basic Jared King Lawler. But that's pretty cool. And it's current. The last time we got Lawler was in Elite 18. And I guess it was a slightly current figure, but... It was more of a flashback because it's, I don't know, just the way the head scan looks. It looks like a younger Lawler. This one looks more like a current Lawler. He even has a bolded on t-shirt. And it's good he's a basic, not a Build-A-Figure, because that, that was a rumor he was going to be a Build-A-Figure set, but it's like Patel said, I just pick up basics, so that'd be, that'd be cool. and make it a slight bit easier to get. Now this base looks pretty cool. It's none other than the Bulgarian Brute and the hero of the Russian Federation, Rusev. It looks pretty nice. Nice head scan, the body type looks good, chest hair, and the trunk. I mean, you have to know about this figure, so whenever this figure comes out, it'll be a different figure we'll all be looking forward to having our collections. I know why I'll be looking forward to it. And Grimm's custom won't, you know, watch Grimm's toy, so obviously he won't need that custom anymore when he gets the real Rusev. Then they showed off some basic prototypes. We got Ambrose, Bo Dallas, Lana, and it looks like they'll be doing an NXT line with Sami Zayn as the first figure. And um, I'm looking forward to most of these figures, Ambrose, Bo Dallas, and Lana. Sami Zayn I'll, I'll probably get anyway, though I don't watch NXT right now because I don't have the WWE Network. I know I need to get it. But I am familiar with Sami Zayn. He was formerly El Generico in Ring of Honor and all over the independents. But still, I'll collect all these figures anyway, so hey, you know, we'll start to see more NXT guys pretty soon, and that's pretty awesome. Then more battle packs were shown off. I already mentioned the John Cena Open Warrior battle pack in my previous build, but I guess there essentially will be an American flag. Makes sense with Open Warrior and the Patriarch attire. Now there will be another Usos battle pack, and they will have their current tattoos. So obviously, uh, from what I remember, Jimmy's the one with a little bit less tattoos, and Jay has a little more. So at least they'll be a little bit easier to tell apart, just a little bit. And their accessories will be crutches. Now here's two more pretty cool battle packs. The first one is Dan O'Brien and Triple H. Dan O'Brien has that head scan from the uh, Kane build a figure set. And Triple H will actually be in a suit, which makes more sense nowadays because we don't see him wrestle a whole lot. And they will come with a set of handcuffs. Then we have a current version of New Age Outlaws of Billy Gunn Road Dog. And I'll come with two microphones. That's pretty cool. I've been waiting for them to make a current version. Too bad they won't come with the tag team titles, but hey, you know, it's still cool. And I'll be definitely looking forward to getting that battle pack along with the Triple H and Dan Bryan one. Now we got some battle pack prototypes, and these are kind of like fantasy matchups, even though one of them I don't really consider a fantasy matchup. And that one's Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker. Now it's supposed to be Shawn Michaels from 1997 versus Undertaker from now. And I don't know, I can't really consider that a fantasy matchup since they wrestle each other many times, like about three or so. Included two back to back matches at WrestleMania 25 and 26 where Shawn Michaels actually ended up retired because he lost to Taker. But still, I guess it's an alright battle pack. Now the other one is the big show, as he currently is, versus Andre Giant. And Andre Giant has button chops in his version. <laughs> so CM Punk's not the first one to rock in the WWE. And also, since it's the first Andre Basic, it's going to still be probably a heavy figure, especially when you have him at Big Show in the package, so... When you pick this figure up in retail, you will be picking up one heavy figure. <laughs> Our heavy figure. But still, definitely a battle pack I'm looking forward to. And the, the HBK Taker one is alright as well. Now let's look at some elites. It looks like we're probably going to get our blue teeth that we've been wishing for. Which looks alright. And he's got the beard and hair like we had. And unlike the uh, Elite 30 Batista, this one will come with accessories. So, hmm, this one has about the same amount of tattoos. Yeah, obviously some that are covered up thanks to the blue 
elbow wristbands he's wearing, whatever you call those. So he's gonna have accessories. He'll have like a denim shirt, a pair of sunglasses, and a hat. Then we're gonna get Roman Reigns, who will be kind of current. I guess it'll be what he wore at WrestleMania, and he'll come with the WWE Tag Team title. And then Cesaro looks pretty cool, and he'll come with the Andre Giant Memorial Battle Royal Trophy. Now let's look at some Elite Flashbacks. This first one, we can now have to complete our DX collection. It's none other than Xbox. Yeah, obviously it won't be in China anytime soon, but hey, cool, we got Xbox. He's got a cool head scan with his tongue sticking out, and he's wearing a bandana which is molded on. And he's got the cool black and green DX attire. Because of a DX shirt, like a lot of our figures have come with so far. And he'll come for the European Championship, so I guess Shawn Michaels won't be the only one that comes with that belt. Now the other figure is pretty cool, it's a junkyard dog. Pretty cool attire, the white tights with red and blue stars. And it comes with a dog collar with a chain leash, so that's pretty cool. Now here's a flashback that you can display in three different ways. It's going the clown. His first accessory is a bucket, and you notice he has his typical clown attire, the red, yellow, blue, you know, typical clown face paint. So it looks pretty cool. And this one will come with three different wigs, so you have three different choices how to display your figure. And now let's look at the Defined Moments figures. And this figure, well, we all know we need this guy. The WWE Mattel line would never be complete without him. And he's the reason a lot of fans like myself are even into wrestling. It's none other than the immortal Hulk Hogan. And as you can see, it's based off how he looked back in the 80s. And there's the yellow headband. So you see that bald head of his. He has a, you know, a cross necklace. Then he has the yellow Hulkamania shirt. And he's got on yellow trunks with the red knee pads and yellow boots. And because of a classic WWE Championship that only he wore back from 86 through 87. So it's pretty cool. We'll probably be in the Hulkster in our collection. So what you gonna do when Hulkamania runs wild on you, brother? Now this next figure looks pretty cool. And all I have to say is, say hello to the fire god. It's none other than Razor Ramon. So yeah, pretty cool we're going to have Razor Ramon and hey, sometime down the line we'll have a Scott Hall. This one is in his purple attire with a purple vest with on the back of it saying Razor Ramon. You got the purple trunks, purple knee pads, purple boots, and then one black elbow pad and one purple elbow pad. And it's pretty nice. I'm going to guess it's based off of his appearance at WrestleMania 10 when he took on Shawn Michaels and probably one of the most epic ladder matches in history. And hey, you know, we'll probably get more Razor Ramon figures pretty soon. Maybe we'll see maybe some battle packs. I mean, I'll see the sky's the limit. So we'll, what we can see with this guy. Now this figure, I died of happiness when he showed it. And God, it's an awesome looking figure. Especially when the man himself came out to talk about it. Making his first appearance in any WWE function. It's none other than the man they call Sting. Man, is this an awesome figure. It's based off his look from the late 90s, 96 through, we'll say, 1998. There's a thrower sting attire with a black and white face paint, long brown hair, black wrestling gear with a white scorpion on it, and black gloves. Now, obviously, it's not showing all the accessories and since it's an elite for the Define Moments line. So he's not wearing his trench coat, which I'm sure that will be one of the accessories. Hopefully it'll be a cloth coat or a vinyl material, not a plastic coat, because God, those are hard as heck to take off. And obviously it'll come with his signature back, because Sting doesn't go anywhere about it. That's only what I, I could assume. But still, this is an awesome figure. I'm so glad they made it. And, hey, maybe we'll see more figures of Sting down the line. Maybe a Surfer Sting. Hell, maybe Wolfpack Sting. And one little quick note, it says SummerSlam above him, because... This Defined Moments line is supposed to be for each big pair of you for WWE. Now, obviously, Sting never wrestled for WWE back in the 90s through now, so it doesn't make much sense to put the SummerSlam over him. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. We're going to Sting figure so they can put whatever WrestleMania or 
Yeah, they can put Royal Rumble or hell, they can put East Dub Pivy over them for all I care. I'm just glad we're getting a steam. Alright, there you guys go. I believe that is it for everything that Mattel has to show for all the new WWE figures that will be coming out later this year and then next year. Man, so many awesome figures, including the Sting, that's my absolute fave, Hogan, Razor Ramon, all the awesome elites, basics, battle packs. I mean, they showed so many cool figures, I can't wait to get it. The only other things they show were Slam City, and I could really care less with that line. It's just a horrible version of the Rumblers. I mean, I prefer the Rumblers over Slam City. I don't even like Rumblers. And then they've already shown figures they've already gotten. Include older figures from years past. And oddly enough, there's a Lamar Cosmo with a cat head on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, um. Anyways, there's a lot of off figures that will be coming out later this year and through next year. God, I can't wait for them all to come out. Especially this thing that figure made my day. <laughs> Anyways, feel free to comment. Let me know how you guys feel about these figures. What figures are you looking forward to? What figures are you wishing they would have shown that maybe didn't get shown? And as always, feel free to like this video and subscribe for more. As always guys, rock on and keep collecting.